Tonight, AMR is looking at new ways to help patients who don't need to go to the emergency room. But one local woman says any decision comes too late for her. Her mom died and it took almost two hours for emergency crews to respond. 10 News reporter Chris Lucas spoke with her and explains how crews are working on new solutions for people who need help. Catherine Trapp found her mother, Mary Ellen Hogan, on the kitchen floor last July. She was not wearing her medallion for safety. So the main button was in the kitchen, so I just hit the button. It transferred me immediately to 911. She says she needed help immediately, but that didn't happen. The biggest problem was that they let my mom lay on her kitchen floor for four and a half hours. First responders assisted the situation. Well, they went through and checked everything to make sure that there wasn't any uh, foul play, and then um, they had to wait for AMR to arrive. AMR says it took them one hour and 47 minutes. That ranks as a low acuity call because it's not the most important thing right now. The person that has, that's having chest pain or the, or, the, or the child drowning in the pool, that's more important than that. So it's a matter of simple just having the resources available to go. Since then, AMR changed their scheduling to help resolve the problem. What we do today is we do staff one ambulance or one person um, and they, they receive assistance from the sheriff's department or KPD or whomever uh, to help properly load the, load the patient, take, transport them to the forensic center at the request of the medical examiner. Catherine is glad to see change. She's given me a voice to try to make this better for everyone because I don't think there's one person in East Tennessee that wants to see their loved one lay on the ground for four and a half hours. In Knoxville, Chris Lucas. AMR says a call is not always going to require an ambulance. When they just need a doctor, their nursing navigation program helps remotely through telehealth.